Hey YouTubers, so we've got a Hyundai Tucson, uh, I think it's about 0708, it's a petrol variety. What we're going to be doing is replacing the trek rod ends. Um, I'm only going to take you through doing one because they're the same both sides. Um, hope you enjoy the video. Alright, let's get this thing off. Twenty one mil socket. These are all nuts. Get the big boy out. So probably tip for you guys. It's just um, if you're doing it on on the floor before you jack the wall completely off the ground, just uh, make sure you can undo the wall nuts or lug nuts and get them where it can clean to that floor. So most of the vehicles I see in here in this, I've had them all the time. The wheel nuts are all FT. Right, so here's your friend in item. Quite a bit of movement on that. Get some light on there, so that's a bit easier for you to see. Right, so we've got a lock nut here, and then we've got a nut on the bottom here, and this one has a split pin for it. If you're lucky, they come out quite easily, like this one. It's gonna do. These can be quite tight. And especially in the UK where it's had a lot of um, corrosion, salt off the road, rain, etc. They can be in there. I mean, in the UK, I've had them before. I've had to cut it here and then replace the, the inner tie rod as well. So let's just have it. So we just move that now. We we'll take that was a twenty-four. I like to use the, the old spanners sometimes. Now this, I believe, was seventeen, maybe. So there we've got a 17. Hopefully you can read that. The light is there's not great. See how tight this is. Not tight at all. And you see this has been leaking. Got split here in the rubber. That's why it's worn prematurely. So I'll undo this one. Get a tapping stick. Now with these, if you hit them here, you can normally give them a little shock and they come out.
So I'll find a point on the data. to measure up to and it's approximately 325 mil from there to the center of the stud here and then of course count the turns one Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, maybe about fourteen and a half. Now you want to match up your parts. This has got a R on it. And somewhere this has probably got an R on it. And that's got an R on it too. Not for Richie, but for right. So we made that about 14 and a half, didn't we? And it came off that way. So that'd be a half. Thirteen. And that's our fourteen. Otherwise, so always get your tracking done afterwards. You're never going to get it spot on this method. You get it close, but you never get it spot on. Snip that nut up. Sometimes you need to push them down a bit. Otherwise, they have a tendency to slide. Last little push. Okay. Then I measure it. What did I say? 325. And I went from this back end here. And nearest there, I'm at 325. So this is going to have its tracking done afterwards. Yeah, snug this fucking nut up. Yeah, I can get in there without getting your way. And basically that's a lock nut, so you really don't need to go mad with that. And it's simple as that. So we'll get the wheel on next. And we won't go crazy with the impact. We'll snug them up and then we'll talk them up. As I said earlier, the other side is exactly the same as this side. Apart from this side down, not right hand. Let's leave that one on the floor for now.
And I know some. Okay, so if you know your tools, you kind of, you just have a feel of how tight they're going to go, etc. Right, let's drop it down on the floor, tilt up them wheels. Yeah, just a short video on how to replace the track rod ends on this Hyundai Tucson. Um, hope it's been informative um, and it's helped some of you if you've got this job to do. Just remember, if you're doing it on the ground, axle stands. Um, remember to make sure that you will not stay on too tight before you lift it up uh, and check the torque specs for your vehicle. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. If you like what I'm doing, please subscribe, hit the like, ding the bell to get notified of new videos as and when they come out, and please leave your comments and questions in the box below. Thanks for watching.